Hey guys, good YouTube. Uh, Sailor Man here. Uh, I got a quick little video of a knife. Move my little girl's toys out of the way. Woo! Um, Y'all want to see a funny little joke video? There's a link below to Salty Shellback. Me and him did something, a little collaboration. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Click it, check it out. You know, it's a neat little video. Um, this is about um, Smith and Wesson knives. Um, and uh, I don't think I shall ever buy one again. I bought this one, and I was really happy with it. Um, I don't know what it's called. Uh, Extreme Ops. I like the design. I like the way it was. I really was happy with it. But look, the bolt come out. Um, I, I guess you could. I could buy another bolt for it. But ah, you know what I mean. I don't know. Oop, dropping shit. I know, uh, a buddy on YouTube sent me a bunch of knives, uh, and this was one of them, uh, Kevin 63, and uh, look, the tip of the bolt come off on this one. This was a cool little uh, Smith & Wesson firefighter, I was really happy with it, I really liked it, it was really super sharp, uh, I mean, look at that point, you know, it's kind of devastating. I mean, maybe I'll find, the, uh, I guess, order some bolts and get them fixed, but it's like... Maybe that's a design flaw, you know. I, I like I said, I used this knife for a couple years or for a while, and then it just got started getting loose. I like kept tightening. If I tightened it too much, it didn't want to come out. And look, that was fun. And with another actual knife, you know, the nut falls off. Uh, so I don't know if everybody, but like I say, Smith and Wesson knives. Uh, Nice little design. They were good little blades, I guess. I don't know if Chinese, I think, but that bolt design that they have to keep the blade in there is uh, a little on the crappy side. But but I've had, I've been using a couple cricket knives and stuff, the Drifter and the McGinnis, and they've been holding pretty good. Uh, so we'll see.